Hello my friends, welcome to another video and this video is about being prepared because I have a long eight to nine hour photo shoot tomorrow so I need to be prepared and this is what I would do if I was away from home for eight hours or so as you would if you had a job that took you away from home. As many of you know, I'm a professional photographer and I'm actually at home quite often uh, basically almost all the time so I have direct access to my fridge I can eat whenever I want but a lot of you don't have that access you have to go away for work so I'm just gonna showing you an example of what I would do if I had to be away from home for more than eight hours so first thing I would do is definitely I would uh, fill up on a huge giant banana smoothie so tomorrow morning I'll probably have four or five bananas in a smoothie with a whole bunch of berries and dates so I'm hoping that that smoothie can hit around 800 or 900 calories that way this will be my lunch and snacks while I'm away this is a giant salad it's almost a whole head of red leaf lettuce a pepper a whole English cucumber some green onions and sprouts the dressing for that will be my French dressing and that this one specifically has a tablespoon of chia seeds in it so that will be my dressing for my salad. And then I have about, there's I think there's 28 cherry tomatoes in here. Some are bigger and some are smaller, but they're heirloom tomatoes. And I will dip those and these red peppers and yellow peppers um, in this cashew dip. I made extra today and I will have the rest of it tomorrow. So I have this cashew dip that I'm gonna dip those in. And then I also have a cup of berries and almost over a cup of grapes. So that will be my food while I'm away from home tomorrow. And I entered all of this into chronometer and it tops out at almost 970 calories. So including my 800 or so calorie smoothie in the morning, I should definitely be okay because as soon as I get home, I will have something to eat and definitely get me up to the 21 to 2300 calories. So just wanted to show you guys what I would do if I had to go away from home and actually this only took me about 15 minutes to prepare so yeah quick and easy and I don't have to deal with the debate in my head I don't have to spend money I don't have to wait in line um, I don't have to have all this regret of eating something fast and on the go uh, which I used to eat all the time when I would have these um, long photo shoots or the people I would do the photo shoots for would order pizza and I wouldn't care and I'd drink a whole bunch of energy drinks. I'm really glad that that part of my life is over. So I'm gonna pack this up and get it ready because I have a long day tomorrow, so. And here we go, all packed up and ready to go. Here's all of my dips and sauces and dressing, my uh, vegetables here. And I'm taking an ice pack with me just to keep everything cool. Uh, because uh, I think they have a fridge there, but you can never be too prepared. So I will take that out of the freezer when I pack up to go. All right, everything's ready to go. Of course, I'll take that ice pack out, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. And as a side note, I know people are probably going to ask, where are your bananas? Now, I only have enough ripe bananas for tomorrow morning's breakfast. And so I actually won't be taking any bananas as extra snack. Typically I would because they're so high calorie and really easy to eat. But today I won't be taking any bananas as a snack. I will have them as my smoothie in the morning and I should be good on that for this day. But typically I would say I would take probably three or four or five bananas with me and that would replace a lot of the calories here. But I had to make do with what I had in the fridge so there you go. Good morning. Here is the second mason jar of my 800 to 900 calorie smoothie. And here is one of my snacks and more of my snacks. And here I'm going to finish those red peppers and have this for lunch. I forgot how uh, big the salad was. It actually took quite a while to eat because I had packed that lettuce right in there. It was almost a whole head of red leaf. And then for dinner, I had this little salad along with raw vegan corn chowder that I made. It's a little soup and I this video is of my video camera. So I filmed it and it'll be up on YouTube soon. So for this day, I had 2390 calories and 97% of my nutrition 
that is a little high for me, but because I am keeping my weight, I'm trying to keep my weight at my goal weight, not to get too low. So I have increased my calories slightly. And this day was 8497. And that's absolutely perfect for me. I had just enough of everything and I didn't feel hungry uh, because I was eating mostly throughout the day instead of, you know, letting long, long periods of time go without you know, letting my body know that I'm thinking about it and giving it food. So if you guys like this video, please click like and um, subscribe to my channel. Find me on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Two Grand, all at Raw Food Romance. And I got a little clip at the end here of my kitty sleeping in a drawer. So check that out. Fruit on! Hi. <laughs> Cute, like sleeping in the drawer. Okay, good night. Mm.